Married to Medicine, um, season five, episode five. Um, the ladies finally go to New Orleans, and um, I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Jackie is still throat deep into her work. Um, this was one of the things that was causing the issue in the marriage. It's because she worked so much and she wasn't being there. And the fact that she's still not working on it, she doesn't want to work on it, which I would probably feel the same way. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even, let me stop tripping because I wouldn't want to have nothing to do with him at the time. But, um, I am saying note what people are saying that, this was one of the things, like, you won't, you staying gone, it's not going to help the situation. This was what contributed to it. Like he said, he he was being neglected. And I can't lie, like, Jackie, you do, you do reject, you do neglect him. Like, I'm a married woman, and I know that I have to spend time with my husband. Like, being a mom, a wife, trying to work. YouTube, YouTube can, can when you're trying to be a creator on YouTube, it it basically takes over your entire life. What time you have left, YouTube consumes it. It's eleven o'clock at night now, and I need to be in the bed with my husband. But we, I have to compensate for that time another way. I have to make it up to him. If you know what I'm saying, when I do get in the bed, I have to put in that work. To compensate, compensate for not being in the bed when he went to bed. It, do you get my drift? You got to put in work for it. Like you, it, it's just not giving to you. When I'm not here, I make it up to him. I plan date nights. We do stuff together. Cause, like I said, my husband worked odd hours forever, and he finally got his a job and a schedule fixed where we could be together more, and he would be home by. You know, before, you know, at, he, he got a regular, regular hours and he's home at night, um, off some weekends. And then now I'm into YouTube and being a creator that takes all that time because it's not just easy to sit here in front of a camera and record. You have to do editing. You have to, um, like I said, this is just show reviews. I do another stuff. This is, I'm starting a whole, I'm, I do YouTube so much that I'm to the point I'm starting a whole nother channel. So that's a lot. But I talked to him about it. He was on board with it and he's come into the YouTube world with me. Like he helps me record now, but that's our quality time, but I don't want it to be all work. So when I'm saying to doc Dr. Jackie, you have to put in the work for your relationship. It's just not going to happen. The love ain't going to stay strong and straight kindle. If you not being with your mate. So anyway, um, it, it doesn't, it still doesn't, Give him a right to cheat. It doesn't. Whatsoever. Um, like I said in all my other videos. To me. When he wouldn't let her adopt. This was her reaction. Her punishment to him. Instead of cheating. This was her punishment. Not giving him what he wanted. So to me. If she can't have. If I can't have my baby then. You can't have your time with me. And then this is the results. But anyway. Toya. Is it? Is it? Y'all. I Let me take my glasses off. Because Toya had me feeling some kind of way. I don't like. I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Without just... Toya. Like I said. She made me take my glasses off. Because. You stupid. You would rather your man masturbate than cheat on you, ignoramus. It's nothing new or unusual. It happens, honey. Guys start doing it at a young age. Like, it ain't nothing even... She crazy. I just don't have. I feel like if Toya shut her mouth, 
her husband would want to sleep with her more. There I said it. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, I feel like her husband is trying to keep a connection to her. He keeps communication over. He tries to stay close to her. Out of all the husbands on the entire show, I think her husband is the most normal one. Um, as compared to all the rest of them, I think, like I said, their sex thing, I think if Toya wasn't so dumb and then always miss up the moment that they would have more sex. If my husband came in in the middle of the night, I don't care what's wrong, uh, what time it is. If he comes to me and he, he needs to get it off, guess who's going to get it off for him? I'm not going to be baby, I'm asleep. And then turn around and complain that I'm not having enough sex. Something wrong with him. I mean, she's just unusually dumb. She's like the Portia of Married to Medicine. Like, I, she gets on my nerves. Anyway, um, she keep on with all that nagging. He, I, 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 I ain't gonna say he gonna cheat, but I think it's gonna. It keeps pushing him away. Um, I hope that Quads cookbook um does well i really do it needs to do well and when it's to do well she needs to get her own stuff she shouldn't leave her husband but she needs to invest it well i uh dr gregory is a real douche i can't i can't believe she stayed with him as long, she's been with him as long as she's been with him um, because he's just a butthole about this whole cheating situation. But I'm gonna tell you what, he keep sending, he keep dropping quad hints. I feel like um, he ba he because he, he keeps saying if a man not getting what he he want, he gonna get it somewhere else. And he keep dropping these hints to quad. Let me tell you, he wants the baby quad, and if he don't get that baby, he gonna cheat on you. There, I said it. So you best come on and kick this baby out. And I understand why Quad don't have the baby. And I said this in all my other reviews because he not no man. But let me ask you this, Doctor Gregory: You talking about if if a woman, um, if you keep being a little kid around the house, then is it justified for Quad to go and cheat with a man? Um, that takes the trash out, that maintenance and all the vehicles like he's supposed to, that put his dishes in the dishwasher, um, can run his own business without a woman doing everything for him. Um, would it be okay for Quad to cheat then? You thought it was okay for Curtis to cheat because Jackie was being at work all the time and you said she wasn't doing what she's supposed to do, but you're not doing what you're supposed to do either. So does that make it okay for Quad to go cheat and have a baby with a man that's, that's going to do that for her because you're not doing it, but yet you won't keep dropping subliminal hints. And I, I feel like you threatening to cheat on her and go get a baby by somebody because quiet won't give you no baby, but you don't want to do it quiet as you don't know. Woman want two and a half kids because a man being a kid and a half. And she keep telling you that. And quiet was right to get mad while she was killing the hell out of that outfit, girl. She looked good in the outfit working out with, with them dolls got her looking good. But anyway, I don't like that he tried, he trying to, he, he seemed like he wanted a man that's trying to hold money over her head. Like, she's probably working from paycheck to paycheck before she met him. But then once she met him, life got comfortable. And he talking about, I've been, I've been uh, taking care of you since I met you. He probably has, but, uh, newsflash, the man is supposed to take care of a woman. Now, Quad made it clear ever since the first season of the show, she's always worked to earn her, kind of like her own money. But he seemed like he's the type he want to take care of, care of you and he want to do for you so he can hold it over your head. And I think at some point she wasn't well off and that's how he held on to her and how he controlled her is by money. And he held the money over her head just to control her and keep her in check. But I think now she's making it and has invested enough of her own money that it doesn't work anymore. He can't manipulate her, ma manipulate her like that anymore. Um, like he used to see now we see a more of their true colors this season than we have any other season. So anyway, um, 
I don't like, I like I said, I think he, I feel like he's one of those men that once he do something for you, then you got to hear about it every day. I don't like them kind of men that they do you, they do something for you and they just want to hold it over your head and you just got to keep hearing about it. Like my dad does it. Like if he do something for you, you got to keep hearing about it for the next two years. I'd rather don't do nothing for me. I just suffer and go bar from a stranger on the street if I got here. Yeah, I gave you $50 that one day. Or, and I got to hear about it for two years. I I I tried to pay you the $50 back and you didn't take it. So if you didn't take it and I didn't try to pay it back three, four times, so I'm not going to keep hearing about it every day or every time the least little thing come up and it's not even concerning nothing related to money or nothing like that. But anyway, moving on. I also feel like he, he uh, like I said, this is my other review. He I like he's one of those men that if he spends $5 on you, then he owns you. And he thinks that's being a man, which that's part of being a man is to work and pay bills. But that's not the only part of being a man. You have other things as a man you're supposed to do. Like Kwa said, taking out the trash, servicing vehicles, all of that. But any case, anyway, they get on on the trip. Uh, Simone, um, for, no, it was before they go on the trip. Simone and Cecil um, had their little words. Let me tell you. If Simone said that you went on a golf trip and you didn't clear with her, then why she got it, it, it? And she had to hear about it on social media that you had this big golf trip. Y'all go out of town with your buddies. Then why she got it clear with you if she go out of town? See, I see what Simone doing. She doing to you what you doing to her so you can see how it feel. But you can't get it in your head what she doing because you think you do nothing wrong. See, and I know how she Now, feels. he don't want Simone to go out of town. But like Simone, she called and she said, so what is it you want me to do now? Because it, that's how they do. It's something you want me to sit here and look inside your head when I want to do something. But then when it's something you want to do, you and your friends go do. Cecil. That's what Simone told him. She checked up the deuces because she gone on her trip. Um, for Cecil, if you were so worried about your marriage and so worried about your relationship, then you shouldn't have moved out of the house with your wife so you could be closer to work. You should have just made the commute because... Um, at least when she came home, you were sleeping with her every night, seeing her every day. Remember, you not spending time with her is a lot of this is on you because you were seeing her all the other seasons. At least you were seeing her every day, talking to her every day, sleeping with her at night when she did get home. So you chose to do this and live in a different house. I feel like you tried to live in a different house because you thought you was going to force her, her to be off work. You thought it was going to force her to come down there and stay with y'all so she wasn't going to be able to work the hours that she working. Now, all that's done backfired on you, and now you're trying to put it off on her now again so you can easily say she's not helping the relationship. No, what you need to do if you wanted it that bad, put that house up for sale, move back in y'all original house with your wife if you really wanted to work on it. So, boy, bye. Man, ain't nobody buying that. You need to sell it for some dingleberry little young girl that ain't mature enough to know that. But us for us veteran seasoned women, baby. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see you. I see exactly what you're trying to do. That's what you thought you was going to do to her. But like I said, that didn't work. So anyway, um... They going on a trip. They get there. Everything going good. I don't like the Lucifer sweet situation. I understand the point of the sweet because that's the kinky sweet, whatever. I like how Simone did with the, with the sweets. Everybody got to draw a straw and do whatever they got to do. So can't nobody say it was favoritism. I don't need to stay here there. Blah, blah, blah. They can't be arguing anyway. So they had to draw straws. Now everybody in the suite. Um. I like how um, Heavenly and Contessa are behaving because they behave better than Toya. Then when they finally go out, the purpose of going out is so they can get away from all they drumming. The first thing Toya want to do is talk about masturbation and then bring up to J uh, Jackie about being cheated on. When is she going to shut her damn mouth? And everybody in the group is looking annoyed, but yet then she going to uh, try to um, ask Quad, Quad about her um, sex life. And Quad was like... I'm not going to discuss my personal sex life. And then Toy sitting over there looking right dumb and going to say, well, I don't feel like I need to uh, talk to somebody about my personal business if they're not going to discuss their personal business. And she said, the, the choir said, that's your option. 
So basically, we can shut that conversation down. Now, that's, that was your choice, your option. It's not mine. So you can't be mad at uh, Qua because she ain't up and want to indulge with you about her sex business. Girl, bye. I, you, you, number one, you don't never tell another woman about your sex life business and what's going on. That's a, the number one rule, the number one. No, no, you never let anybody else in your relationship like that. So you better be glad she shut you up. Because that opens the door for another woman to come in, you idiot. So anyway, I'm glad she didn't expose it and gossip with her old gossiping behind her. Because Toya about clueless. And uh, that's why everybody, and she wasn't even paying attention to how everybody else was looking at her like, girl, you need to get up and leave. Can we send her on? They wish they had left her at home. But uh, anyway, see Toya, and then Toya wishy-washy because then she going to sit up there. Because I feel like she's just doing everything for the cameras at this point. She's sitting up there being wishy-washy and she suddenly keep trying to turn on Heavenly. And she keep trying to get the heat turned uh, turned up on Heavenly. And Heavenly just like over it at this point. She ain't contest. I just be really being mature about it. And it's really making Toya look even more stupid, stupider, even more stupid. So she needs to just stop it because she's not getting that rise out of Heavenly that she wanted. Now that Heavenly comprehends what she's doing. And seeing that, and and then I love when Heavenly said, "You are messy," and everybody just looked because they know it's the truth. She is messy. Everybody knows she's messy. She knows she messy. Why she trying to act shocked and surprised like she got Mariah uh, showing up on this trip? We seen that in the little preview that the icing on the cake of how messy you are. But anyway, she always want to start stuff like she want to be the star of this uh, show. But anyway, uh, I'm glad that uh, Heavenly apologized to her and, and all of that stuff um, and just said she misunderstood everything, and uh, which at the same time, she did misunderstand it, and then at the same time, Tori was trying to be uh, messy how she brought Contessa to her at the little cook-off thing and, and how, you know, she was, but... Um, Heavenly did misunderstand the introduction line. She said, now, what's your name? That she was, be, uh, she, that she apologized for. That was on her. But anyway, with all that being said, Heavenly did prove that she trying to do better. It was a good look for her, bad look for Toya. And the whole situation, Toya getting real old. But that's about all I had to say about this show tonight. Um, let's see. I don't think I have anything else to say. I think I covered everybody. I'm ready to see the next episode because Mariah's talking about it. looks like everybody not happy to see her for what? She not sincere about nothing. She say everything is, is if it's not about her. I already said all this in my other reviews. Y'all need to go back and watch them. But anyway, thank you for watching. Click the little bell icon down here at the bottom so you can get um all my reviews. Welcome to the new channel. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be reviewing a whole other shows that was requested for me to review. And I'll see you in the next video.